size is for your meal prep. A week's worth of lunch for two people. Hi guys, hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Adi. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing a very simple recipe that you can use for your meal prep and that's going to be a chicken sandwich. I'm going to be preparing the sandwich for about a week and for about two people. So you'll see how I do that and that you'll see what I mean when I say it's super simple and it's very easy to make in multiples. So without further ado, let's get into it. So first step is obviously to cook the chicken. So I'm just going to prep uh, some chicken here. I have about 1.3 kgs of chicken breast, which I'll be slicing. I'll show you how I slice them. And then the marinade is really simple, a pretty basic marinade, but that really elevates the taste because you're keeping nothing overpowering anything and it lasts the same throughout the week. So we have now sliced our chicken breast into really like not too thin but also not too thick. I slice it in a slanting uh, knife position. I don't know how to explain it but you saw the video. Um, and I just get all these little pieces and I feel like this is the best. It works well in sandwiches. So now we're going to marinate it. Um, this marinade doesn't have to sit for half an hour, half a day like traditional recipes because it's supposed to be an easy quick recipe. So moving on, very basic things. We have salt pepper, ginger garlic paste, lemon and soy sauce. Um, you can uh, substitute the pepper powder with uh, chili powder if you like um, and you can also avoid the soy sauce if you like. You can change it however but this is exactly what I use. So now that our chicken is marinated, if you don't have the time to cook them right away, you can leave them, but I'm I'm just on a rush now, so I'm gonna cook them. And you just need butter. It's, it's optional, you can use olive oil or whatever you like, but I like to cook my chicken breast in butter, and I think it adds some taste to my sandwich. So that's all I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna start a pan, put some butter on it, and cook this chicken in batches. So when I make this sandwich, I try to add some sort of greens in it, you know, just to feel like it's a complete meal. And what I use for ease is just these packaged salad bags. You can supplement this with a coleslaw bag or just shredded, whatever vegetables you like. This particular one I got from Pack and Save. Um, it's the vital, vital Bones Slaw and it has a really nice dressing is why I bought this again. So I'm just going to put this all in a bowl, use the dressing that it comes with and just mix it up and prepare it for my sandwich. So now that we've done all the prep we need, I am just going to start on actually making the sandwiches. I'm going to wrap my sandwiches in foil, please use whatever but you need. I'm just going to start laying down the foil. I'm going to make multiples at once and that's how I keep this process efficient. So I make at least four or five at once um, and I'll just take you through the steps as I'm making it. So I'm using this bread which is the Otilicious from Tip Top. I also got this from Pack and Save. All of my stuff is from Pack and Save actually. Uh, you can use any bread that you like. I especially get the toast one because it's quite thick and that means whatever I put on it, it still lasts the whole week without making the sandwich soggy. So that might be something you want to consider. Don't get sliced bread that's too thin because it might just be soggy by the end of the week. Um, if you do intend to keep it for the whole so week. So I'm just going to lay them out. So the first layer of my sandwich is hummus. You can supplement this with mayonnaise if that's your preference. 
but I really do enjoy it and I think it adds to the whole sandwich. So I'm just using this one, Obella, you can find this in Pack and Save and I think Countdown as well. Um, and I'm just going to apply a very thin layer on both sides. So once I have my hummus laid down, uh, the next step is to use cheese. You can use any cheese. Uh, we use Edam cheese because it has the most health stars, so I feel healthy doing this. But I use two slices, so use how many other slices you like. I'm just going to use two and I'm going to put them on either side. I toast my sandwich at work, so that's kind of the idea why I have cheese on both sides of my sandwich, so it really melts when I toast it. So put it in the middle if you like. Now it's time for the chicken. I'm just gonna place them, kind of try and cover the whole surface as much as I can. If you find any pieces that are too thick, feel free to press them down with your thumb and fingers and just flatten it a little bit because it just keeps the sandwich more together because there are there is a layer of salad going on top of it, so you don't want the chicken to be flat of course. Now that we have our chicken layer, I'm just gonna layer some salad on top. My salad came with a very creamy dressing already. If yours doesn't have any you can also add some mayo on top i'm also going to be adding some hot sauce on top of my salad so that's it i'm just going to close the sandwich and close it up and uh, yeah i guess take it to lunch and enjoy so i think that was quite simple i mean there were a few steps but they were really simple store-bought stuff kind of steps so i think it's still very simple I've made five sandwiches here now and I still have more chicken left so I can make another round so that's at least five more so this is a week's worth of lunch for two people. I hope you guys will definitely try this and please come back in the comments and let me know if you enjoyed it and if you would like more such recipe videos please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon next to it and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!